Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from a very beautiful Menasha, Wisconsin. We have fabulous weather today. It is so pretty outside. It's not as warm as I maybe would like it to be, but it sure was a great day. Now, did I enjoy the weather at all today? Nope. I sure didn't. <laughs> Just from my office looking out the window. Yeah, I wasn't outside. I went out there and tested it out a couple times. I had to like go out on the porch and get some mail or something. But um, other than that, I didn't. And my house is a little chilly, so I'm going to put my little jacket thing on. I, that's why I always have these, because I get just a little cold. You guys know I, my, my, th my temperature thermometer dealy whopper isn't that great. <laughs> my internal thermometer. How about if I say it like that? <laughs> Hi, Marsha, Rachel, Kathy, Terry. I see so many people popping in. So I decided to kind of go live a little early tonight because um, I've been discussing the streaming issues that I've been having on Facebook with a lot of different people, and I'm not alone. I know that other demonstrators are experiencing a lot of problems, and some demonstrators think it's due to the amount of comments that are coming in at once and the emojis that are getting clicked. I really don't know if that's the case or not. I think that our internet is just kind of overloaded right now and the, oh, I had it on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what they're called, but where all the internet goes into one place and then it goes out, I think those are getting overloaded. So I thought, well, maybe if I come on at a little earlier time, I'll be getting away from all the people that might just be I don't know, winding down, streaming TV tonight or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know what's going on. My Zoom thing still isn't working because it shuts off after a little while. So that won't work to stream from Zoom to Facebook Live, which would be ideal if it was working right. Anyways, we're going to just try to get through this and hopefully I won't start cutting out or freezing up. If I do, we're just going to have to quit and try again maybe tomorrow during the day earlier. I don't know. But if there's one thing, I am stubborn. <laughs> I will continue to try. I am not a person that gives up easily. So, um, yeah, I just I just went on my Facebook page, Diana, uh, five minutes ago and said I'm going to be live in five. And the other reason why I'm coming on early is because we're having movie night at Haley and Jared's house tonight. And when I say we, it's just me. <laughs> but I'm going to go over and I get to snuggle and hold baby Val. And um, I will uh, have some popcorn. And what else does Kelly need when she's eating popcorn? <gasps> patches. I have three bags of them now. Thanks to you guys. You're wonderful. So I will be taking my sour patches. I gotta, I'm going to slide these right over in front of the door so I have to trip over them. And um, I don't want to forget my sour patches because I have to have those when I eat the popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> and I just got my Pampered Chef order and um, I bought the popcorn makers, the family size one. And then I bought the smaller one to put in our summer home. For those of you that may be new, I bought a summer home a couple years ago. And I know that sounds really like fancy and stuff, but it's really just a camper. But I call it a summer home because that's fancy, right? <laughs> that's my summer home. We used it like we went camping in it once. <laughs> but otherwise, we bring it and we put it in the driveway. And um, when we have parties in the summer, people can then sleep in it. It's kind of nice, right? And sometimes if it's really hot, Steve and I don't like central air, so we won't turn our central air on in our house in the summer. Like, it's a com it's a um, competition to see who's going to break first. It's never me, people. Never me. But anyways, if it's super, super hot out, our bedroom's upstairs with no air. Sometimes we will turn the air conditioning on in the camper and sleep in that. So it's like you're kind of on a little vacation in your driveway. <laughs> I know. My husband says I'm a cheap date, and I really am. doesn't take a lot to make me happy. So, <clears throat> I did a little drawing. Even though last night was really my projects from my Sunday night Facebook Live, I decided I have so much stuff here to give away. I'm going to do a drawing anyways. And our winner 
from Nancy Clark who shared all of these paper pumpkin stamp sets for, with me. This is from the January, February, March paper pumpkin that everybody is just losing their minds over. Super, super cute images. There's There was two sets in that one kit. Thank you, Nancy Clark, for donating these for everybody. Our winner from yesterday is Sandra Harding from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Yay! So, Sandra, I will be dropping these in the mail tomorrow. I'll put those right up there. And somebody asked me what movie we're going to watch. Well, I don't really know. So, last time Haley and Jared came over for movie night, one of the times we watched the newest Jumanji movie. That was really cute. And the, the time after that, we watched Why Him, which is one of my, it's my all-time favorite movie. Totally inappropriate. So if you don't like the bad language, you don't want to watch it because it's everywhere. But I just think that movie is hysterical. So what are we going to watch tonight? I don't know. Haley doesn't really like anything except documentary type shows. And so I don't know what we'll be watching Maybe Jared and I will override her, or maybe we'll find a really good documentary to watch. I don't care. I'm going to be getting me some baby snuggle time. <laughs> so it doesn't matter to me. And eating popcorn and eating sour patches. So, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Now, tonight, this afternoon, I should say, the card that I have to make for you, I'm so excited. I haven't actually made it today. So, you guys know when I do this, it could be a complete win or a complete disaster. But remember, we're in this together and there's no judging, right? Because <laughs> we're going to be stamping on the fly tonight. I just have this idea in my head. I have a sample card that I'll also show you. And it's where I got the idea from. But I haven't actually used it with the stamps and colors that I picked out. So it could be just not cool at all. <laughs> But we're going to see. <clears throat> so I'll give you a little rundown on what I chose. I chose to use Animal Outing. I love the stamp set. I know this is backwards. I'll show it to you again when I can mirror my screen. Because right now, if I mirror my screen, everyone else is having this problem too, you guys. Watch. Ha! Ah, I'm green. And I don't need to be green. <laughs> um, Animal Outing is what I'm going to be using it's retiring, and this is just a really cute set. The cool thing about it is I think this was a pre-order last year, maybe. And um, whenever Stampin' Up! has a pre-order with certain products, when you go online to look for ideas, there is a gazillion ideas using um, pre-order items. So that's the really cool thing about it. Oh, and Terry just said that Survivor is on at 7. Well, Haley and Jared watch Survivor. I haven't been keeping track of Survivor for a few years. I don't know why. I really was gung-ho for it when it first came out. Maybe we'll watch that tonight. Like I said, I don't care what we watch. I got popcorn, and I got Sour Patches, and I got Val. <laughs> then... I decided to pair up my animal outing. I needed some type of a background. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to use an embossing folder, but it's kind of hard to use an embossing folder the way that I'm making this card. So I picked the Gallery Grunge stamp set. And this is just a really cool element stamp set with um, stamps that you use in backgrounds. And I know a lot of times people say, oh, that's cool, but I don't know what to do with it, right? So I thought this would be a good set to show you just a couple ideas. I think I'm going to use a couple different ones out of here. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> and like I said, right, we're all in this together. So if this doesn't go well, we're still going to be friends. <laughs> I know you guys will be. Okay, in case you missed my Facebook Live from last night, I've got the cute little Wheel Walrus Be Friends. And that also is retiring, as well as the See a Silhouette Designer Series paper. And this is called a floating gatefold card. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Do you just love it? This was like, Sharon Jones made a card with the birthday bonanza using this floating gatefold. And I just was in awe. So I had to figure it out and make one. Yeah, so this is on my blog from yesterday. And remember, my blog is www.astampabove.com. Now, if you ever have any questions and you want to get in touch with me, that's the place to go is to my blog. That is what I called my landing place or my home place. 
all of the things are on there. You'll find my online store. You'll find the current host code. You'll find all the online catalogs. You will find all the information about my online technique club, um, how to order the kit and become a discount shopper with me, which reminds me, I did my pre-order today. For those of you that may not know what a pre-order is, Stampin' Up! allows us to pre-order products out of new catalogs that are coming out usually about a month ahead of time. And that's whether you have a business going or you are a discount shopper. They do not discriminate. And um, I did my pre-order this morning a day late. It actually opened up yesterday, but I was busy. My mom was here and Haley and Jared came over for breakfast and we had the whole thing going on. So um, I just didn't get it done. But I did my pre-order today. And I'm pretty excited because I expedited it. I'll have it here on Friday. And I will probably show you everything. I'll do a box opening with you guys. Because I love to see all the new stuff. And I love to share it with other people. Rachel says she put in a huge order. Yeah, mine was pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, Kim, don't worry about the inks. We're going to have lots of things to play with, and they'll be ready when the catalog goes live. So nobody's, there's no harm done there. Lots of other things to play with. So, is the pre-order limited items? Yes, it's actually from a list, and here's why. Um, Stampin' Up! only has so much room for inventory. So while we've still got a catalog that's current and all the shelves filled with that inventory, you can't bring in a whole new catalog and fill all the shelves with that inventory. There's just not enough space. The system probably can't hand it, meaning computer-wise, and it's just not a feasible thing to do. So Stampin' Up! picks some sweets and certain products that they will let us pre-order ahead of time from the annual catalog. Now, I think most of the time when we have a mini catalog coming out, we get the pick of the litter. <laughs> we can order whatever we want, I think. But with an annual catalog, it just can't be done. Um, logistics just aren't there for it. But I am just grateful, right, that we get to order... Um, from early because that gives us a jump start on getting ideas ready to share with you. Rachel says, no judgment. That's right, sister, no judgment. Kim wants to know where the pre-order list is. Kim, if you're a demonstrator, you need to be reading the weekly updates that come out every Tuesday morning on our Stampin' Up! Demonstrator website. And um, when you go to the home page, scroll down, they're on the left-hand side every single Tuesday. We have updates and then all the links and everything that's going on with Stampin' Up! is always in those weekly updates. So, all right. I think we might be ready to flip our camera around and get busy here. Are you guys ready? I think I'm ready. I don't want to push my time here because it seems like yesterday we were doing really good on the Facebook Live until we got almost to the end and then it started breaking up and I was freezing. <laughs> it's like like my graphics. <laughs> so we're going to flip and we are going to get started stamping and we'll see if this actually works or maybe we'll just have a good giggle together. We're not really sure. So hang tight. I've got to close my blind. I'm getting weird lighting in here. My camera will adjust for that. I also, I don't know if I told you guys this yesterday, but I ordered a um, webcam so I don't have to rely on my phone anymore, which is a little dicey. Like, things can go wrong with your phone. Like, here's the deal. So if iPhone, they did this one time, they did an upgrade, and it, uh, or Apple did an upgrade to the iPhones, and then it messed with the Facebook Live. So I think if I have a webcam, I will be avoiding those types of problems. All right. Oh, let me bring myself up on the screen. In the meantime... What are you guys drinking tonight? I am going to wet my whistle. You know what I'm drinking. Strawberry lemonade because I'm boring. But I did buy all the stuff to make old fashions. Not going to lie about that. <laughs> Pretty excited. So now I can just have old fashioned. I like Southern Comfort Old Fashioned Sweet with olives. And I even made simple syrup because you need that. And I bought orange bitters. And oh, I got the whole enchilada. Sweet tea. Lisa's drinking sweet tea. I love sweet tea. My mom makes a lot of sweet tea. Okay, 
Here's our stamp sets. Animal Outing, super duper cute stamp set. Now you can make cards for anybody with this. It doesn't have to be childish. Um, the little kangaroo with the koala, not koala bear for my Aussie friends, just koala. I have learned my lesson. <laughs> this one goes great with together we make a great pair. Okay. Also, you have the rhino with the bird on its um, horn or tusk or whatever you call that thing. And again, together we make a great pair. Thank you big time. You've got this little branch with that cute little frog sitting on it. Then you have the welcome little one and the giraffe and wild about you. Welcome little one, that's great for baby cards. So you've got something there too. Could pair any one of these with a birthday greeting. Um, how about a get well greeting? That rhinoceros looks like he could be just like, hmm, sorry you don't feel good, you know? Their eyes are closed, the kangaroo too. Again, you know, hope you're feeling better. These could work with any of that. And then here's Gallery Grunge. Now, I really like the stamp set. I like texture and these look like real live texture. That's what I thought was really cool about it. So we're gonna be using this. I hope it works. Nobody knows. I have been munching on these today. I just saw them laying there. Have you ever in your life seen Mexican jalapeno peanut M&Ms? My mom picked them up for me. They're super hot, but I love them. I like jalapeno stuff. <laughs> I know I'm weird. Okay, so the first card I'm going to bring in here, show you what I did. I tested out one of the Gallery Grunge stamps on some pool party with pool party ink because I wanted to see what it looks like. So when I am designing cards, I will oftentimes grab a scrap and mess around with it a little bit to see, hmm, do I like that? And I think I do. I think it's gonna go well with what we're gonna do. Then I grabbed my Regals Designer Series paper. This is still in the store. I went and checked before I came on because there's nothing I hate more than watching somebody's video and going, oh my gosh, I love that paper, and then you find out you can't order it. That stinks, and I hope that I I hate doing that to anybody. I hope that I am not that person that does that. So I try to be careful about those things. Now, I have got my little mini trimmer. These are not available anymore. You can only get it if you joined my team as a discount shopper during celebration. Which reminds me, um, before I forget, if anybody wants to place an order, you're gonna find my online ordering button on my blog right here. Here's my current host code. You can always find that in the right-hand column of my blog. If you join my team as a discount shopper right now, you get to pre-order from the new catalog from our pre-order list. So that's very cool. And that's why when I get my order in, I think on Friday, I will be showing you all the cool stuff. The only reason I'm showing you is if you would like to join my team as a discount shopper, you can order the stuff too, and you'll get to see what's coming out if you wait or you're already a demonstrator. Maybe you didn't order the stuff. So I've got... This comes in six by six, the Regals Designer Series paper. And Gilmore's asking, will I still be using my Archon stand when I get my new um, webcam? Yes, I will. Um, because I like it, it's right here, it works good. We'll see, I'm sure I'm gonna have to use some rubber bands or whatever to make it all happen. So I'm going to take my six by six paper and I am going to cut a one inch, let me get this straight, a one inch strip. Ooh, that peanut in that thing is hot. Can you guys hear me chewing on the mm, jalapeno M&M? So this is what I have. Then I'm going to bring in my banner triple punch and we're going to push this all the way in. Again, this is just a one inch strip. Make sure I have it all the way in there. Punch it so we are making a banner, okay? Next, oh my goodness, take a drink. Cassie wants to know what kind of webcam did I get? A Techie something 920. I don't remember, but I'll show it to you guys when it comes in. Okay, then, let's see, where did my cardstock layers go? Here they are. Here's my little cheat sheet. I, there's not really much to know. You want to see my cheat sheet? Regal 6x6, 1x6, and a 3-inch circle. <laughs> Pray for me, people. <laughs> okay, next what I did. I've got basic gray, and this is five and a half by eight and a half. I folded it in half, 
And then I brought in my dies. I'm using the stitch shape large circle and then a circle from the layering circles that this will fit in, okay? So whatever size dies you decide to use, you need one to cut out a layer we're gonna stamp on, one to cut out a hole in the front of your card that this will then fit through. That's the, that's the important part. And I decided as long as I was doing this, I was gonna share um, some little tips with you. So maybe you're a beginning stamper, or maybe you've been stamping for a while, but you're just not really sure where to go with the dies. Like some very basic essentials for stamping as far as I'm concerned. And again, this is just my opinion. You may have a totally different opinion. The stitched shape framelit dies are the ones that I use most, most of the time. Like almost every card that I make, I use these. I just use them constantly. I love the stitching on them. I think that it is very charming and it just adds a lot to your die cut layer. Now, how many of you do not have these? No, I should say, how many of you do have these? Either way. Um, if you're going, I just don't know if I should invest in those, I'm telling you as a stamper, you should invest in them. Whether you buy them from yourself, your demonstrator, me, whatever. This is the set of dies that I seem to always grab. Like I use them constantly. Now, with that being said, the next place I go to I think would be the layering circles and the layering ovals because they coordinate with these and you get the scallops in there that look awesome behind them, right? That would be the next set of dies that I would go to. And from there, I'd probably go to the ovals. These are the layering squares, but I would probably go to the ovals because I use the ovals more often than I use the squares. It just so happens today we're gonna to use the squares and the circles. But I think once you get those four packs, stitch shapes, layering circles, layering ovals, and then the layering squares, then you're kind of set up and ready to start picking other things. But that's where I, that's what I would recommend if you don't have these types of dies, I would start here and then go to the circles the ovals and the squares. So I just thought I'd share that with you because I think sometimes there's just so many products available that we get a little overwhelmed, right? I mean, I mean, sometimes I get a little overwhelmed, like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna get? Okay, so I have already die cut my large circle here, and then I found a die that this will go through, This the circle will fit through here, and I die cut the hole in the front of my card. Okay, so I just don't want to stamp over here on the back of my card. So I decided what I wanted to use for this was the Gallery Grunge, this image right here. Now I have no idea what this is going to turn out like. So this is where we're all going to cross our fingers, hope for the best. Get my lights up here where they belong. I'm going to use... Um... Oh, and Heather says she had the stitch dies and have just received yesterday the layering circles because so many makes require them. Yes, and next, Heather, I would recommend getting the ovals when it's feasible for you. And then after that, the squares, because I use the circles the most, then the ovals, and then the squares. But yeah, I'm, I think that's a really good way to do it. Okay, so here is my basic gray. I'm going to ink this crazy looking stamp up. Let's hope we don't get any edges. And I just want to stamp the front of my card. And I don't know exactly where to do that, but we're going to try it right here. Okay. And let's ink that up one more time. And let's do right over here. And this, I got edges. Jeez Louise, look at that. Edges. I don't like that at all. Hmm. Well, too bad. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to start over now. But I don't like that this gets edges. And I haven't used this stamp. So I pushed it into the ink a little too hard. But it's kind of hard not to. So this is a good example of what you do about that. I am going to pull this off of here. And any place, you can see there's a lot of rubber out here. I will trim my stamps up. 
And you want to make sure that you're keeping your scissors so that you're cutting straight up and down. You don't want your rubber to be angled at all because that'll kind of wreck your stamp. But you can trim these. You can cut them. You can cut them apart. You saw me cut that happy birthday apart. These are yours, and you can do whatever you need to do to make them work right. And I think that is actually probably going to take care of my edge problem. So rather than every time I use this, I have to be oh so careful, I just trim it up so that I won't have edges anymore. And then, yep, that was where I got the edge, was right here on this side over here. Stick it back on here. We're good to go. Okay. So don't let that freak you out. These are your stamps. You make them work for you and you make them work good because next time I would stamp with that, I would get edges again and that's just not okay. All right, so let's forget about that, but we've got some good texture. I think I want a little bit more texture on here. I think I'm gonna put another one maybe right here. See, no edges. That worked a lot better. Maybe we can stamp over that. Hang on. Let's do this. Maybe we can cover it up. I'll see. Maybe it might be a little more texture than I want, but at least it'll kind of take away from it. Yeah, it doesn't notice. You don't notice it so much anymore, but I like this texture on here. And it's kind of like weaved, baskety, African, goes with the rhinoceros. That's kind of where my head was going with that. Okay, here comes our little guy. And I'm going to use Memento Black Ink. And my Rhinoceros. And I am going to stamp my Rhino right here. Oh, that turned out perfect. Look at how stinking adorable that little guy is. He is so cute, right? So now we have to decide about coloring him. I've got my smoky slates out here. I think I'll go with the blue for the bird. Uh, no, I don't want light. Let's see, where's my other blue? I got a balmy blue here. I'm gonna do light balmy blue. I think I'll go with a little bit of green. And what is this? Dark granny apple. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. You guys know I like to use my dark marker first, and I'm just going to go around here and use the same lines that Stampin' Up! made on the rhinoceros. I keep wanting to call him a hippo, but oh my lord, I'd never hear the end of it. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Yeah. I'm glad I have you guys to keep me on the straight and narrow, right? Let me know, like, oh, that's not what it's called. Yeah. So, don't overthink these lines. They're not that big of a deal, and I don't know, but it always looks just fantastic. Okay, so I think I got enough gray there. Now I'm going to come in with my light smoky slate, and I'm just going to outline so I don't go out of my lines. And then I'll do my blending. So we don't have all these blobby looking marks, right? We talked about this. Oh, Melanie, I don't have my new catalog either. And actually, if you look in the weekly updates, it says there's a time frame in there that it talks about if you don't get your catalog by this date then you can call them but otherwise they're not going to send it out until then anyways till whatever date they had predetermined i haven't gotten my catalog either most of the united states does not have their catalog yet so we just have to be patient they're coming for demonstrators not for customers you guys um i actually ordered several cases of catalogs this morning those will be here in about maybe a week and a half or so. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. I just love this guy. I'm just going to blend this just a little bit more. You know I don't like the globby lines. Super, super. Look how cute that guy is. Okay, next I'm going to color my bird with the light balmy. 
blue. And then I think I need a little Mango Melody Dark for his beak. Or her. I think it's a boy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a boy. And then I've got my Granny Apple Green. And did you see how I did that line? Again, don't overthink it. Just throw some color on there. It'll look perfect every time. All right, are you ready to get, get down to business with this and see what the heck I'm going to do with it? Because this is pretty cool. Okay, the other thing I need is a piece of Whisper White. This is four by five and a quarter. This is actually going to go on the inside of our card. I'm not going to glue it down yet because we might want to do something in there. I think we will. Um, I am going to take this piece. I'm just going to hold my white layer in here as a dry fit so that I've got it centered you know with the margins and everything i'm going to push my banner deal over to the fold make sure that my card folds nicely i want to make sure this is in the center of my circle okay looks good and now i'm going to hold on to this and we're going to fold it over the edge just like that now we're going to do another dry fit because i don't want to make this look dumb <laughs> yeah okay Yep, that looks pretty good. Okay, here we go. Ready? We're gonna take and add some glue. Oh, I haven't even opened my glue yet. I did a lot of businessy work today. I got some emails out for people who have ordered from me. I started working on my emails. I'm very far behind on them, but I will get caught up probably by tomorrow because I'm going for movie night regardless. Okay, so that's what we did, right? Okay. So the other thing I wanted to do before I actually glue this down in here is I need to find, I don't know, I'm thinking, what do I want it to say? I've got wild about you. Well, I think that would be stinking adorable. So let's just put that in here. I'm going to see if I've got this on my block straight. I like to like kind of do a little test run and I think I'll put this right in the middle. Oh my gosh, so cute, right? And then I've got the little branch. And I think I'll do the little branch. Now, one little tip. I took and I cut my rubber off right at the edge where that branch ends because I wanted to be able to look at it from this side and know that. And no, I don't have a label on it. I think these are the old type labels. They don't stick that great and I just am lazy. I'm a lazy stamper. There we go, I did pretty good. Okay, so we need to color this in a little bit. And I think I'm gonna bring in, I like the um, bronze Stampin' Blend for coloring my wood type things. So this branch, I'm just gonna color that in real quick. And then I'm gonna carry that Granny Apple Green into the inside because I've got it on the ground on the circle. How's my sound? Are we still okay? I think we are. Nobody's telling me. It's hard for me to look at comments when I, especially when I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, that's a lot of the time, but you know, I don't have a sample that I've created to go by. I'm just, kind of, we're stamping on the fly tonight, folks. Okay. There's our cute little frog. I'm gonna leave his little eyeballs white. Look how stinking adorable that little guy is, right? He is so cute. Okay, so now we're gonna take this part and we're gonna add our glue and put this on the inside of our card. Get this nicely centered, just like that. Okay, then we do this, push that through the hole, and then we're going to bring this in and put it right in the circle. So let's hang on. We're going to put glue right on this strip, just like that. Bring this right in here. Make sure I got them looking pretty straight. Okay. I also took a piece of 
Rich Razzleberry, which is the color of the Regal's Designer Series paper that I'm using, to cover this up to finish it off. And, oops, do that. Hang on, i got to make sure this is even. Okay. So that's how our card works. Where did my rhinestones go? I wanted to put some, here they are, right here. Want to put some rhinestones on here. What do you guys think? Hang on, I'll, I'll do a little run through on it and tell you why I think it's special. Here comes some rhinestones. I've got my take your pick tool here. Now, if you're gonna give us a tool and you may not want to put rhinestones on it, I don't know, but I thought that would be just kind of bling it up a little bit, but look at how cute this is. So the card opens just like this, and then it closes back up just like that. What do you guys think? I think this is just really adorable. Now, I've got another one here using a different stamp and a square. Do you want to see it tonight or do you want to wait till tomorrow night? I don't think it'll take us too long to make it. I think I'll do it right now. Okay, hang on. Don't worry, somebody just said, Candy, you can watch the replay. Don't worry. Okay, let me grab my other card here. Then I wanted to tell you a little bit about where I got my color combination for the next card that I'm going to make. Let me grab my pieces here. Whoops, hang on. My rhinestones just fell over the side. Oh my lord. Here we go. Okay, so I've got pool party. And I grabbed the Crushed Curry Regal 6x6. And I got that right off of my color coach. Now, if you go to my blog, www.stampabub.com, I think at the bottom of each blog post is a link for the color coach, I think. If it's not, I'll put it on with this blog post when I get this done. But you could just print these off. These happen to be, um, somebody put them through one of those machiney things. What is that called? Uh, oh, I lost it. It was right there. What is that machine thing called that makes it so it's stiff and, and plasticky? Um, yeah, I know you guys are going to tell me. Anyways, hang on. I'm scrolling. Oh, now I'm breaking up. Am I still breaking up? Doggone it. Laminator. That's it, Lori. Thank you. Hang on. I'm scrolling. I'm just oh, listening. I'm breaking up. Am I still breaking up? Darn it. I think that I'm still sounding Laminator. pretty okay. That's it, Lori. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to keep going here. But anyways, you can print this out and cut this up and make your own cards. Put a ring in it, and then this has the color of cardstock on a punched um, shape. So each one has its own color. But this is how I got my color combination. So I came to the Crushed Curry card, and I'm like, what colors? Well, of course, I love Pool Party, right? So I'm going with Crushed Curry and Pool Party for this one. And what I've got here is just an 8.5 by 5.5 inch piece of cardstock. We're going to do this whole thing together. I didn't, um, I pre-die cut some stuff, but I didn't do this part. So... Here's our card. We're going we're gonna to do the stamping first. So I need my Pool Party ink. And now this time I'm going to use the um, dotted look with Pool Party ink on Pool Party cardstock. So I'm just going to do this randomly. Then we'll see if we need some more. I think that might be enough. All right, then we're not using circles for this one. We're going to use the square. So let me find all the squares. Here we go. Here's the stitched square and then the layering squares. That's where that came from. I've already got the white layer done. Um, oh, I did the other one. Oh, I've got two white layers in case I messed up. I've got lots of extra circles here because you never know, right? <laughs> what have you prepared? Um... So I've got my white one, and then I also cut the stitched one in a crushed curry layer, but I need to bring my big shot in. Hang on. Do 
run over and get it. I'm gonna bring my big shot in here. Oh, and then I need all kinds of cutting plates. Hang on, you guys. I kind of forgot about that part. Okay, here comes all my all my deals. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Here comes my cutting plate. Now I'm gonna take this. And I'm going to take that layering square, not the um, stitch square. This is just the plain layering square. And I am going to die cut that right in the middle of my front panel. And pray that that is staying in place because I can't really see it. My plates are so abused, right? All right, I don't hear anybody saying that they can't hear me yet. There's a drinking game. Wait, <laughs> I missed it. Okay. <laughs> Monica said she asked Dina if I was as nice and funny in person as I am on my channel. And she said yes, and so is Dina. <laughs> Dina is one of my besties. Okay, here we go. Cut that out. All right, we're ready to keep going here. We put that down. Oh, let's set this over here. So here's our card. Bring this back in here. Now I've got my little square and I think what I decided to do here, I'm looking for all my stamps, is I'm going to take, oh, I wanted to use the other words. This says together we make a great pair. So let's make sure that I've got this on the stamp straight. That yeah, looks pretty good. And what do I got going on here? Oh, I got that. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to put that right down here. Okay, that turned out pretty good. Then I'm going to bring in the little frog on the branch. Oh, perfect. I'm winning. And here comes my giraffe. And I want my giraffe. Love it. All right. What is the green? Okay, that green paper that I think is in my lap, what is the name of that? Oh, wait. Hang on. Cindy Ford is asking that green paper that is, I think it's in my lap, what is the name of it? Um, well, Cindy, try again. <laughs> Because that's not making sense to me. <laughs> and I know you probably hit the hit the send button before you meant to. Oh wait. Cindy says sorry was in my lap. I meant left. This green paper right here, is that what you're talking about? If it is, this is the Regal 6x6 designer series paper, and it is still available in the store. And look at all the beautiful colors. That's where I got the crushed curry and the rich razzleberry paper that I used for the banner on this card. Yeah. Is that what you meant? I think. Okay, good. She said yes. Woohoo! We got her figured out. But yeah, look at how pretty all of this is. These are all of our regal colors. This is Blackberry Bliss. We've got Shaded Spruce, um, Real Red, Pumpkin Pie, Old Olive. What's this green? Some green. Garden Green. Crushed Curry, Cajun Craze. Um, Cherry Cobbler. Old Olive. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. So, one side of it has a scripty words on it. The other side has these doodly doos. <laughs> and then we have the other pattern, and you get a sheet of each of these. The other pattern has this argyle and then the gingham. Yes, yeah, so you get a sheet of each in each color. And let's see, there are 40 sheets in a packet. I think it might even be on sale. I'm not sure, but... We have these in all of our color families. Some of them are sold out right now, but the Regals are still in the store. Okay, next. Whoops, I just threw my card over the side. Oh, it was just rhinestones. They'll be fine. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my markers again here. Now, I don't know that I'm going to need these, but I will need my green. Oh, and my bronze. So I'm going to color my tree branch again. 
This might actually be easier to color with a Stampin' Right marker because it's pretty skinny, so you gotta use a really light touch when you go down the branch towards the leaves. And then we've got Granny Apple Green. I just like the bright colors. I, at first, it took me a long time to get used to how bright this is because I'm so used to olive and mossy meadow that I didn't like this color at first, but now, you know what? The more you see it and the more you use it, it's my preference for green now, and it's funny how that works. But I, it usually takes me a while to warm up to new things, like new colors, especially new clothing. It takes me a while to warm up to those, like new, new clothing trends, style trends. Okay, so there we go. Then I'm gonna grab that bronze again because I think that's perfect for the spots on my giraffe. Put that in here. And then here comes the Mango Melody is the color I'm gonna use for my giraffe. And I think that just gives it a really rich color. I would use Crushed Curry, but we don't have Crushed Curry and a Stampin' Blend marker. Do we? Oh, no, we have So Saffron, Daffodil Delight, Pineapple Punch. Oh, what's this? Hang on. Yeah, I don't think we do. Daffodil, that's Daffodil. This is Mango. What's this one? Oh, apparently I have two Daffodil sets. That's shocking. <laughs> not so much. It's not that shocking. Okay. And then... I see somebody said something about a diagonal, but hang tight because i got to color and concentrate. I'm, I'm a pretty good multitasker, but when I'm doing things like this, I really need to pay attention or I just, it's a, it's a whole thing <laughs> and it ain't a good thing. Yeah. My husband, he goes to the grocery store, I don't know, maybe once a week or so, but he got, um, stuffed mushrooms, like the sausage and the great big mushrooms. They were on sale and he bought them and he cooked them for me today. <gasps> Oh, I got a spot on it. Cool. I'm bringing in my color lifter because I got a little spot. Oh, look at it. Took it right off. Look at that. Don't forget to get a color lifter because it's like your magic repair tool. Besides lifting color for doing artsy fartsy things, it also will erase your mistakes. Okay. Now, we're going to bring that little cutter back in here. Right here it is. It didn't get too far away. Again, I'm going to cut off a one inch slice of my crushed curry designer series paper from the Regals pad. Here's my one inch. I'll get this put away. And then I'm going to use my triple banner punch. Punch that. Yay. Perfect every single time. Um, here's our white. Now this is going to be on the front. We make a great pair. And then I think again I'll do the wild about you. And we got that on the front that I don't know if I want to do anything else in here. I'm just going to leave this one for now. Maybe I'll put a strip of designer paper. I don't know. Oh, you know what I could do? Where did those pokey dots go? Here they are. Pokey dots. You like how I say that? I know they're poke -a dots, but that's not that fun. <laughs> I think what I'll do is make a little, I'm going to make a mask. I hope this turns out okay. Well, what's the worst that can happen? I'm going to make a little mask just like this. Where'd my ink go? Sometimes you have to be like, can you play Twister? Then you can stamp, right? Uh, like that. Just like this. I just made a mask here so I can do just a whole line across the bottom. Ta-da! Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm right on it tonight, you guys. I'm winning. Okay. Here comes our card. Now, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna do a dry fit here. And now I'm gonna bring in this. And I'm gonna close this up. Now see, it's kind of crooked, so you wanna make sure that you have it on here straight. Just like that. Looks pretty good, right? Pick this up. Hang on to it and push it over the edge. Now, who saw my glue? Oh, here it is. Put a little glue on here. So, I don't know.
don't know why this reminded me of this this morning, but um, I was taking a shower and I have these bottles of shampoo and they're kind of like our sour cream containers. You know how you make those where they're pinched on the end. It's a round tube and then it's pinched and they like probably put it in a hot machine that goes like this and it pinches it tight and then it seals it. Well, this morning I'm squeezing out my conditioner out of a bottle like that and the whole end that's crimped shut blew up and flew all over the shower wall. Now, if you want to hear somebody gasp a little bit, because the conditioner that I use is like really super like, oh, I love it and I don't ever waste it and oh my lord. So I messaged the company that I get it at today. We'll see what they do about it. But I was just like, oh, never had that happen before. But I'm sure it was like a manufacturing defect where they caught too close or pinched it too tight. Look how cute that is. Okay. So. Again, we're gonna take and put our glue right here where the square is. Yeah, and somebody said you could do this at a diagonal. That would probably look really cute too. I just questioned whether the banner would stick out the end, which for me was the really cute part. Okay, opens up just like that. Here's our little thing. We've got a crushed curry square for the back. Somewhere, who saw it? Did anybody see the crushed curry square? Oh, for Pete's sakes. Well, I had one. Did it fall on the floor? <sighs> okay, hang on. Not letting you guys go. We're going to make this happen. And, of course, I have no scraps of crushed curry. My crown is trying to fall off. <laughs> oh, I found it. Here it is. It fell under my desk onto a shelf. Of course. It can't be anything easy, can it? <sighs> oh, and Sarah got the card I sent earlier this week. You are very welcome. I um I just got all my labels printed for thank you cards for April, and I'm hoping to get those made and out soon. Okay, so see how that just really finishes it and it just makes it look so nice. And again, you close it like this. Come on, don't give me a hard time now. There we go. And then I brought in some of my holiday basic rhinestones. And I thought, I don't know if I want to do, let's see if I want to do these on here or on here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do I want to do, whoops. Come here, you little bugger. Well, now it's going to stick to my finger. I want to go like this. Did you see what I just did? I have no time for that. I don't know. Should I just pop some on here? Oh, I think I, I think I like that. Yeah, I threw that rhinestone right over my shoulder. <laughs> like, I just don't have the patience when they don't go right. What do you guys think? That's pretty cute, isn't it? wild about you and it's a fun fold and it's an easy fun fold but I just really liked where'd my other card go I just really liked the way that that little banner comes peeking out of there I just thought that was super super cute all right so let me show you the original card and I'm ashamed to say that I don't know who made this I think I might have gotten it in a swap it's possible that somebody sent it to me as a thank you card too but there, I don't have a name, and it's not in its envelope anymore. But this is what sparked the whole idea. Isn't that cute? And look, she finished it off. She she actually used the embossed layer from the front. Oh, that would have been pretty brilliant. <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't even. I actually cut extra pieces. <laughs> More work. I could have used. I could have used that, right? But yeah, I just thought this was so cool, and this uses that honeybee set adorable right so whoever made this for me thank you so much like it's what sparked my idea hang on I got I got rhinestones running rampant here it's what sparked the idea to make these with the animal outing stamp set that I thought was so stinking cool yeah together we make a good pair Great pair, 
wild about you and you could send this to anybody right now right you have those friends that when you get together you're hysterical maybe only to your own selves <laughs> I have friends like that we think we're pretty funny but probably maybe only to our own selves <laughs> all right you guys I'm gonna flip my camera around hang tight Because I don't like talking to the back of your head. And then I can see your comments rolling in. Did I miss anybody's questions? I am available now and watching for them. If you asked a question and it did not get answered, please let me know. The other thing I want to tell you, hang on, I'm looking for my um, stamp cleaning jammy dealy. Here it is. Um, the other thing I want to let you know is I'm probably not going to have any dimensions or pictures or anything up for this particular Facebook Live. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, because I am going for movie night. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Please make sure you click on that share button. I always appreciate to share whether you're watching now, live, later. On the replay or later on YouTube, I always appreciate a share and a thumbs up really helps me out too. If you want to, you can share it to your story. That's neat. Or, oh, I'm picking up now. Okay, interesting. Thing. Okay, I'm gonna go. These are 